Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Lopez, the Blind Samurai, and I was messing with some paracord and my bokeh, and I figured out how to make a, like a back sling, basically. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here's the bokeh I used. It's just an old red bokeh with a dragon carving on it. And a cheap handle wrap, I wrapped it around here. Okay, but, okay. I used paracord for this. This is a thousand paracord. You could do this with the Ito or the, I mean, sorry, the Segale that comes with your swords or display swords. This is a six foot cord. <clears throat> and what I do is I fold it in half. Sorry, okay, I fold it in half. And then I measure, since it's six, I measure like around from the, from the half to my elbow. So that's going to be two feet and because I cannot see it's a little bit harder for me but from there you make a loop and then inside that loop you pull the cord in to make another loop to make a slip knot. If I had some editing I would put the bland slip knot right now. So okay you have that. That's on one of the sides of that you were holding. So now on the other side so it could be symmetrical. You do another slip knot, and if I had editing, I would put the band again in there. <clears throat> okay, so now you have this. Um, so that it's mostly symmetrical. Both ends finish there. The two loops are here, like by the half of the of the cord. So when you do that, you just pass your bokeh, or you can put your sword through as well. A little bit harder let me see okay so now I have these two now I have the um, bokeh through both the little loops and it all looks even and symmetrical here we go now to tighten this you only get the you get the you're gonna have to pull on both strings it's already tight on there <clears throat> on the strings with a loop and then if you want to sling, oh, if you want to put it on your back, you just put it on your back with a spine facing your back. Sling it around. And right here you could do another slip knot or you could just do a little, a regular square knot. <clears throat> you could make it, you could have the sword loose on you on the back or, or not loose. Um, see, tight. Making this kind of okay, so the sword here we go. Okay, and to pull out the sword, you kind of hold down here at the bottom where this where this is at. You could either push up the sword to get the handle, and then pull down on the string by where the loop is at. Pull down. Ta -da. You drew your sword. And since the, the knots didn't come all the way out, you could always put it back in. You could either take out the sword, I mean, you could take off the sling from off of you, or you could just keep pulling on this, on the string, or, yeah, the Seguil cord, or the um, paracord. And there you have the sling again on here. So again, I'll show from this side. Hold it. First push the sword up. Get the string. Uh oh. It tied up all up here. So there we go. And yeah. That's it. You can take this off, wrap it around your bokeh, staff, or your sword. Thank you for watching.